And welcome to a new era here at the newly named DIY Kitchen Stadium. A new owner in Matt Ellis. A new stand, the Neil Fox MBE stand. New coaching team and a number of new players. But myself, TC and cameraman Andy Davis are with you. And it's a well-deserved testimonial for one of Trinity's favourites. Matty Ashurst with his own town club Wigan Warriors as tonight's visitors. Number of players missing from Trinity, Luke Gale, Liam Hood and Luke Bain, the long-term injuries. Mason Lino's cried off in the last 24 hours with an illness and Ian Thornley a late withdrawal with a late knock. Lachlan Wamsley is at full-back. Here he comes, man of the moment, Matty Ashes with his family. Well done, Tash. And a great greeting for him, and he deserves it. That's one for the family album. Lachlan Walls was at fullback for Trinity. Jerry McGilvery on the wing, Jack Croft, Ollie Pratt in the centres, and Romain Franco on the left wing. Half backs of Miles Lawford and Max Jowett. The pack has Josh Bowden. Liam Hood, Renault for Tony, Matty Ashurst, Josh Griffin and Jay Pitts. And on the bench, Toby Boothroyd, Caleb Iuela, Tommy Doyle, Matthew Koza, Harvey Smith, Noah Booth and Amir Shigera. We're going to have a fairly young back line, but a very experienced pack. Regan Sumner at full-back. Jacob Douglas, Zach Eckersley and Jake Wardle and Nathan Lowe, the three-quarter line. Ryan Hampshire returns. Jack Farrimon partners him at half-back. And in the pack, it's Luke Thompson, Cruz Leeming, Patrick Mago, Tiaki Chan, Sam Walters and Cade Ellis. Tonight's referee is Chris Kendall. There's any number of subs for, uh, for Wigan, coached, of course, by Matty Pete, one of which is Sam S.A., the former Trinity man, and Tom Forber, who came on loan, the hooker, to play in the red, white and blue. Trinity with the first touch of the ball. Defending the Doncaster Road, end of the ground, and Liam Hood is acting half-back. First home game for the coaching team, Daryl Powell, Michael Shenton and Danny Kerman. Liam Hood already clapping his hands and wanting a, a quick play of the ball. Jay Pitts drives. You notice there that the 20-metre line is marked in red. That's a new piece of legislation this season. And so is the 40-metre line. But it's uh, Josh Griffin, stockings round his ankles, crosses the 30-metre line, which is still in white. Don't ask me. Renu for Tony onto that red 40-metre line. Good set of six. Max Jarrett down the blind side, kicks. Challenged by Cruz Lehman, one of the new Wigan sign-ins, and it's full-back. Regan Sumner to Trinity with the first set of six. It's been a good set of six. Now they have to defend. Out to the right-hand side, Zach Eckersley. Doesn't get much farther than the 20-metre line. Liam Hood in quickly. Josh Bowden was there to assist. And so was Jay Pitts. Lee Minard acting half back. He's looked to his left. That's the way it goes. And a kick from Rocky Hampshire. McGilvery gets his first touch of the ball on home soil. Do we call it soil, Andy? The all weather pitch. Jack Croft. Hood plays it to the left. Walmsley would probably have been on the left wing. Well, I'm sure he would have been. Of course, the injury to uh, the half-back. Mason Lino means that uh, Max Jowett goes into the uh, half-back position and Walmsley goes to full-back. Jowett had acting half-back. A Tony. 35 out on the last tackle. Jowett down the blind side again. 
goes high again and again there's a challenge coming in from Luke Thompson right keep him here now keep on side home streak looks well Andy doesn't it Never seen Wigan in a pale blue strip. Liam is at first receiver, now he's missed out. He was pointing as if he wanted one of the forwards to take the ball. Cade Ellis is ready next next time up. No, he's gone down the blind side with Walters, a former Leeds Rhino, tall ranger. Playing in the second row tonight, but he played much of his rugby at Leeds in the front row. This is Ellis, onto the 40. Griffin's defending, so is Liam Hood, and who's gone low? Jay Pitts, he's playing tight, is Pitts, eh? So Griffin is playing wide to the right, Ashurst, wide to the left. Well taken, Lachlan Wormsley. Tries to go on the outside of his defender, and a quick play of the ball, that's what the Rugby League want. Holly Pratt with his first touch to centre. Franco's ready. Oh, he's missed Franco out. McGilvery's moved inside his centre Croft. Tells us there's plenty of tries in the tank. He scored many against us for the Huddersfield Giants. Sorry to say, but he did. Short side again with Jowett. Bounces kindly for Sumner. Runs across the field. Pitts has cut him off, has he? No. Who's a clock was that? There's a clash of head, is there? That's a high tackle. It was a little man on the field, Miles Lawford. First penalty of the game goes to the Wigan Warriors. When they get the ball, they'll start their set of six about nine metres inside their own half. This is Walters again onto the halfway line. Thompson, ten metres inside, turns his half. Dummy to the left, Lehman takes it back down the right. Dummy from Walters. Inside the 30, approaching the danger zone for Trinity. Wigan's line very deep. Hampshire with the inside ball. Good defence. Who's gone low there? Oh, it's Liam Hood. Cracking tackle. No way through for Cade Ellis. Last tackle, 10 out. Liam has looked to his left. He takes it, therefore, to his right. Kick into the ingo there. Well done, Lachlan Warms. They kind of get the ball back into the field of play. No, he can't. Goal line dropout. Good crowd on the uh, West Terrace. Sorry, North Terrace. West Terrace below us. Now it goes deep, almost reaches the halfway line. Thompson drives it back towards the Trinity defenders. Oh, and they carry him another two or three metres. Leeming. Hampshire looking for the runners. We've got an overlap if they go wide, they brought it back inside. Referee says play on, I thought it was an obstruction. Wardle will go to ground in a crushing tackle. That's a penalty. And what's that for? Upending him probably. Taking him across the horizontal. A new for Tony and Max Jowett. Cruz Lehman to take the tap. Ellis will drive to within eight metres or so. Yeah. 
right on the Trinity line. They are having to defend. Watch Lehman going from acting half back. Overhead ball, trying the right corner, is it? It is. Jacob Douglas with the try. And on my watch, we played eight minutes and it came from the penalty. 4 0 Wigan, kick to come. And look who's attempting the conversion. Oh, they're booing him, Rocky Hampshire. That stand looks well, Andy. It will do when it's full. Still seats available. You can go online, you can visit the club shop. Try scored about two metres in from the right touchline side. Hampshire with a conversion attempt. It's the post, goes in, 6 0. And the track of the two goal for the Warriors by number 23, Ray Hampshire. It's Wendell 20 0, with the Warriors 6. Touch judges had a word with the referee. Jarrett restarts with a deep kick right onto the Wigan goal line. Thompson with the drive. Who and he offloads in the tackle. That was a bit dicey, wasn't it? Pratt did well. Douglas with the next drive. Ellis comes next, pushes away Griffin. Griffin goes back, upper body, holding on to the ball. Don't pinch it, Josh. No penalties, please. Hampshire kicks deep, straight into Walmsley's waiting palms. Takes it back to the 40. Good run from the fullback, former Halifax man, of course. Remain Franco's coming from his wing, and so has uh, McGilvery. We're going all offside. Ironic jeers from the Trinity fans. Bombs is taking a knock, maybe winded. Although he don't look happy. Thumbs up from the physio. Referee not happy, so Jack Croft will have another attempt, and here comes Griffin with the drive. Oh, he punches almost through the gap and makes about 12 metres. Good drive from Griffin. 20 metres out to the left with Pitts, and they offload to Bowden, who stood wide. Chance for Trinity to retort immediately, trailing 6 0 to the left with. Oh, that's good play from Oliver Pratt, half back did well. Miles Lawford with the offload. Lawford again in possession. Pitts drives. Three Wigan defenders pull him to ground. Still at least one tackle left in this set of six. Liam Hood's at acting half back. Lawford. Ooh, it was a quick pass from uh, fullback Walmsley. Not sure Jack Croft was expecting that. He took it well. The Wigan defenders were waiting. Short side. Griffin was waiting. Turnover, not a bad place to turn the opposition over, is it? Meter from their own line, two in from the near touchline side. 6 0 it remains. 
in the 13th minute on my watch now to keep them there. Tony's first at the defence. Hood and Griffin joined in. Wardle's in from his centre. Cade Ellis this time. Sets beyond the first Trinity defender, but there were three more waiting. Kick charge down, Trinity in possession. Good place to start a set of six. 35 metres from your opposition line. Jay Pitts onto the 30 metre line. Hood's looking to his left. Where a Tony waits, but it goes right with Jowett. Short pass, Griffin. Wardle makes the tackle. Five in from the near touchline side. Crofted acting half back. The Tony runs at Cruz, Lehman and Thompson. And goes to ground. About, uh, what is it, about 15 metres out. Pitts drives hard. Lawford inside ball. Bowden. Bowden still going. Can he get the ball down? He's around the goal line. Last tackle. Hoodie show and go. Not this time. Is it Worms? We bundled back. We can defend us in very, very quickly. <clears throat> Matty Ashes, the beneficiary. Why didn't they let him score, Andy? It'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> He's from Wigan, of course, Matty Ashes. Penalty, Wigan. Referees have been told to clean up the play, the balls. The players have also been told they've got to learn. Not too many easy metres onto the 20 metre line. Top and drive from Eckersley. Walters. Bowden stood his ground, and Tony comes in. In fact, it's the Trinity front three, and because Lim Hood's there also. Thompson with the offload. Well done, Max Jowett. And Jack Croft was there to assist. No way through for Cade Ellis. Leaming away from acting half back. Whoop, flips the ball out in the tackle, does Walters. Ten metres inside the Trinity half, last tackle. We can go in short. Lachlan Wormsley, who just a few seconds ago had taken a knock, but he takes that under pressure. Makes about four or five metres. Penalty, Trinity. Pulls in for offside, I think. Or flopping. Six nil it remains. We're in the seventeenth minute, and Max Joy finds touch on the thirty meter line. Ollie Pratt tap and drive from the centre. Good drive from Pratt. This time it's Josh Bowden. Ooh, Lachlan Walmsley was on his left shoulder looking for the offload. Set restart. Pitts onto the halfway line and across. Another good drive from Pitts here. Loud call from uh, referee Chris Kendall. Lawford offloads. Ashers tries to push away a couple of Wigan defenders. Can't do so. Can renew for Tony break the line. Oh, he turns and he offloads to Liam Hood. 
Pitts was met by Tiaki Chan. 30 metres out centre field. And the two subs on the far side warming up. This is Max Jayat with a little chip over into the corner. Into the in goal. It's just got a little bit too much porridge on it, Max. It'll be a tap 20 for Wigan. 6 0. They remain in the lead. Renu for Tony defending well. Hampshire with a short pass. Chan loses the ball. McGillery cleans it up. And Trinity in possession inside the uh, the Wigan 40. Here comes Griffin. Takes about eight metres. Won't go to ground. Quick play the ball. Max Jack's the first receiver. He's looking for the runners. One is Josh Bowden. Long ball to Lawford. Inside ball. Holly Pratt. Dummies. He's gone to within 10. Great chance. Trinity. Liam Hood's looking. Putting his hands out as if to say, who's going to give me the call? Long ball, Jowett. Short ball, Griffin. He's gone to within 8 metres. Still tackles remaining in this set of six. Liam Hood away. Uh, Tony. Can he get the ball down? He scored a try. It's renewed for Tony. Just to the right side of the post. Trinity are back in this. At six points to four with a kick to come. Sponsored by Stephen and Susan Dawson. I thought Liam Hood was going to show and go. Gave the ball to a Tony. It still had to be scored. Scores it just to the left, to the right hand side of the post. Comes in the 20th minute. Shouldn't be a problem this for Max Jowett, should it? Caleb Uela has taken his track so often he's ready to come on, I think. <laughs> Jarrett to make it all square at six apiece. Which he does, sponsored by Beat Autism. Trinity 6, Wigan 6, 21 minutes on my watch. Liam Byrne on for Wigan. Luke Thompson taking a rest. Jowett, the goal kicker, takes that one well. And Josh Bowden drives back at pace almost up to the 20. Jay Pitts with the next drive. Ashurst onto the 30. Try scorer Renner for Tony onto the 40. Good set of six this Trinity. Bowden with the offload to Griffin. Pushes away Rocky Hampshire. Short side with Jow. He's going to go high. Sumner waits and gathers. Oh, and he gets away from 
both Bolden and Pitts before Ashurst makes the tackle. Tyler Dupree on for Patrick Mago for Wigan. Dupree almost onto the halfway line with his first touch. In fact, he's on the halfway line, but we're going to use up the six tackles. Kick from Maddox Jeffrey, who was down as a substitute for his start of the game. Ten out from the Trinity line. Bolden's walking back, so is Hood, so is Pitt, so is Atone. So Romain Franco puts his hand up, the winger. And he drives almost up to the 20 metre line. Scruffy at the play, the ball. Jerry McGilvery's gone looking for work. Get him on side, shout somebody below us. Short side with Jowett, short ball to a Tony. Great play from Griffin, it bounced in front of McGillery. Can he find half a metre? Last tackle, just a couple of metres inside the Wigan half. Caleb Uela is ready to come on as Joey puts it deep. And an exchange for Wigan Trinity, leaving the field number 10, Renop Atoni. Try scorer Atoni leaves the field. Caleb Uela's on. Good round of applause for uh, Renop Atoni. He's had a good opening uh, 20 so minutes. 24 minutes in fact. Walters, he's a tall range player, isn't he? Jake Wardle's coming from his centre looking for it. Leaming across the halfway line. Bit of juggling from the Wigan man. And Jarrett finds. Lachlan Walmsley. Harvey Hill on for Kay Dallas. Penalty Trinity. Rocky Hampshire, the culprit. Holding down. Now then, Max, which touchline are you going to fetch? Are you going to kick to? Right in the centre of the field on the 40 metre line. He's going left. Pinches a couple of metres, Max Jarrett does. <laughs> Why not? This time Oli Pratt with the tap and the offload to Ashurst. And Uela with his first touch of the ball drives onto the 40 metre line inside the Wigan half. Bowden's another that's doing a good stint. Pitts, the offload to Lawford, quick hands, Franco jinx inside. Another great chance for Trinity, six apiece, remember. Liam Hood stood wide, this is Jowett, Croft, McGillery. In at the right corner, Jerry McGillery. Oh, we've seen it so many times in the claret and gold. I tell you what, Andy Davis, there was no stopping McGillery when he got that ball and he didn't, he didn't look like he's got a chance, did he? Great shots from cameraman Andy Davis. 10 6 Trinity lead. And McGillery is open for sponsorship. Scored in the 27th minute. Jack Croft did well. We were speaking to him the other week, Andy Work, when we talked about how he was getting Kersh Lee Kershaw away down that right wing. That was very typical of the way Crofty plays. I thought he did well. But the finish from McGillray was absolutely superb. 
Now the Max, this is a little bit harder, isn't it? Toby Boothroyd is ready to come on. Now he played well at Headingley in a well end rest for uh, Josh Bowden. Less than a metre from this touchline side. We'll get a good shot of this, Andy, won't we? Settles. It's not a bad attempt. It's just gone to the left. Remains 10 points to six. About 12 minutes to go before the break. Good try, McGilbury. Brad O'Neill's on at hooker wearing the number nine shirt. Cruz Lehman leaving the field. Uela. I said it to Eddingley, it's a big unit, isn't it? Quick play the ball as well from the big man. This is Pitts. Still going, Jay Pitts. Good drive, Pitts, eh? Holmes it likes to get involved, doesn't it, from full back? Doesn't quite reach the 40. Oh, is that not an eye tackle? It looked high to me, Andy, didn't it? Last tackle just a couple of metres inside the Trinity half. Liam Hood again screaming at the play of the ball. Miles Lawford runs, then right footed puts it into the far corner. Oh, that's a nice bounce. Wigan opting, opting to take it to centre field. They've got the option, of course, to can take it. The restart on the 10, on the 20 metres in from the touchline side. All they can go into the centre of the field. They've opted to go centre. And Brad O'Neill has replaced Cruz Lehman. Great defence, Trinity. Wowzers, what a tackle. Is he over the goal line? He is, you know. And look at the Trinity play. We enjoyed that. Uh, hang on, hang on. Who says it's a friendly? <laughs> There's no such thing, is there? A rugby league friendly. Never heard out so much in all my life. They're still having a go, look. Now, how on earth are the three officials going to sort that one out? I think it's going to be, well, it, it was initially a goal line dropout. Referee having a word with Matty Ashurst, and that's either Wigan player. I presume it's the captain. Oh, a couple of subs coming on. Tommy Doyle on, Matthew Kotzer on for Jay Pitts and Liam Hood. This is getting feisty. Tommy Doyle's an who played well at Headingley on Boxing Day. He's at acting halfback. Coes with the former Featherstone man. Jai cleans it up. Not sure whether. Oh, it's a Wigan player. It's back to one. Trinity have got another set of six. Leading 10 points to six. Kozo with a drive. There are eight minutes on my watch before the break. Dummy from Doyle. Both riders on his right shoulder. 
goes to ground eventually. And what a likeable young man when we had a chat with him a couple of weeks ago. Loves his rugby. Coaster again. Wool offered that to reach and missed it. How's that a knock on? He's facing his own goal line and it goes that way. Max Jowett knocks on, going the referee anyway. So Wigan in possession, trailing 10 points to six. Wardle with the drive. Griffin, Croft. Chang with the drive, doesn't quite reach the 40 metre line. O'Neill had acting half back, takes it to the right, still in their own half, Wigan. Boothroyd turns his right shoulder into the tackle. Ashurst comes in to assist, so does Kosa. Set restart, Wigan. Whoa! I thought we were going to hear a, a blow from the referee's whistle. Inside ball from uh, Rocky Hampshire to, to Yaki Chan. Short side Wigan with Hampshire, don't take any dummies. Good defence, Jack Croft. And he's pointing to the right. Chan, hang on, knock on, is it? Oh, he doesn't play the ball correctly. We've only been doing it about 10 years, haven't we, Andy? <laughs> but they've been told you've got to appear to have been attempting to play the ball. So it's a turnover. McGilvery the drive. The forwards were uh, looking around to see who wanted to take it. Cross going to take the next one. Comes straight back at Brad O'Neill. Tommy Doyle had acting half back, the former Keithley man. Short side. Not standing square, Wigan. Penalty Trinity. Tap Griffin, makes 10 metres, makes 15. He's got support on his left shoulder. Jowett has got to hesitate. Ooh, Tommy Doyle. Tommy Doyle takes the tackle. That was a great, great play from uh, Josh Griffin. Penalty. Again, scruff out the play of the ball. Somebody's going to the bin. A deliberate holding down in the tackle. Both ride with the drive. Reagan Sumner, the fullback, has gone into the sin bin. Trinity lead 10 6. Can we go in with an extra lead? Cut out past McGilvery. Low and hard again in the right corner. Did he ground the ball? In goal, judges happy. Referees happy, and McGilvery has scored a brace, and it's 14 points to 6 with a kick to come, and with four minutes before the break. As I say, McGill is looking for a sponsor, so uh, if you want to hear your name called out many, many times in this coming season, because I'm sure there are still, as he says, more tries in the bank. But a word for Josh Griffin, his experience saw that we're going to turn the back, retreating into their own half. Quick tap, Trinity went from inside their own half to, well, within about 15 metres of the wing line. Quick hands from left to right. And the try in this right corner. And again, it's a toughie for Max Jowett.
He's a favourite. Oh, hello. Put a shilling in the meter. Oh, they're never going to let Max kick it. You clearly see that the floodlights have gone off. Where's Steve the Bath when you want him? Please bear with us, a small technical error this. Hey, there we go. Oh, the kid, it's all kidology, Andy, it's all kidology. Come on, Max, hurry up before they go off again. So again, just a less than a metre in from the right touchline side. Again, Max Joy settles. Here we go. Come on, Max. Went just to the left, the last one. That looks good from here. That looks brilliant from here. Right from the touchline side. Sponsored by Beat Autism. Joe, it's made it 16 points to 6 with a 10-point gap. With a terrific conversion right from the touchline side. Now it gathers, both ride with the drive. Oela with the next drive. Quick play the ball, short side with Ashurst. Croft through the gap. Oh, he's close to the touchline. He slings the ball inside. Taken by Lawford. Under a couple of heavy tackles from the Wigan Warriors. And a quick play the ball. Cosa crosses, no he doesn't, he gets tackled on the 40 metre line. And Tommy Dale goes back to the left with Lawford, short pass Maddie Ashurst. Turns and looks, four Wigan defenders put the Trinity skipper to ground on the last tackle. Lawford goes high, not too deep. Taken on the far wing by Douglas. My watch says we're into stoppage time. Don't often say stoppage time for a floodlit failure, but that's what we had. Only a matter of seconds, though. But wait till I see Steve the Bath. He's got some ribbing to come. Keep him here, Trinity, no penalties. Hold him out before half time. Keen defence again from Ashurst and uh, Lawford. Oh, we can keep the ball alive. The half-time hooter has gone. The tackle's made just short of the 40 metre line. And referee Chris Kendall blasts his whistle in this Matty Asher's testimonial match. Wigan took an early lead, a try from Jacob Douglas with an overhead pass. And Rocky Hampshire, the former Trinity man, gold right from the touchline side. Then there was pressure on the Wigan line before Renouf Tony crashed over from an, a smart Liam Hood pass. And Jowett levelled it at six points apiece. And then stepping up, Jerry McGilvey with a couple of tries in the right corner. Croft created the first one, then a cutout pass the second, and for the second, Max Jarrett gold right from the touchline side. So it's half time here at the DIY Kitchens Stadium. Trinity 16, Wigan Warriors 6. Wigan Warriors already out for the second half. And here come Trinity. And there go the lights. Oh, not again. Can't see any changes to the Trinity side that finished the first half. Remember, we're going to down to 12 players. Following the Simbinin of 
Regan Sumner for the holding down in the, uh, the tackle incident that uh, brought about the try to Jerry McGilvery, his second. 16-6, Trinity lead at the break. And we'll just see Harvey Smith, Noah Booth and Amir Shigera, the three Trinity substitutes, the three youngsters. Jai pushes it high and deep and both rides quickly into the tackle along with Kosa. <laughs> Penalty after Burn is uh, held down by Griffin, or was it both ride? Oh, I'm sure to take a quick penalty, and he does into the far side of the field. Hospitality suites empty, and they're having another cup of tea at half time. We'll miss all the action, aren't they? Those are the blue seats you can see at the back there. Burn again with the drive, just inside the Trinity half. O'Neill clapping his hands, brings it back to the right. This is now beyond a joke. Sorry if it's spoiling your viewing. It's spoiling it for everybody here, players alike, coaching staff, backroom staff. This really, really is becoming frustrating. Harvey Hill drives. Didn't he come off the field in the grand final after the opening, the opening few minutes after being recalled to the side with a hamstring injury? I think he did. 20 metres out, Trinity going to have to defend early in the second half. Hampshire, overhead pass. Jowett does a brilliant tackle. Puts the man into touch, Nathan Lowe. Try saving tackle from Max Jowett. And Trinity opt to restart centre field. Albeit about 10 metres from their own goal line. Matthew Kosa to play the ball. Tommy Doyle had acting halfback. Remain Franco to the right, right, left, and two try man in that first half. Jeremy McGilvery to the right, and that's the way that Tommy Doyle goes. He's going to bring it back to the left with Toby Boothroyd. Ashers finds Holly Pratt. Just a few metres in from this near touch line side. Great camera shots, these, Andy. Dummy from Kosa. Ten short of the halfway line. Doyle had out in half back. Lawford's going to kick. Is it a 40 20 attempt? It's not going to go deep enough, is it? Offside again, Trinity. I was just thinking in that first half, I thought we caught well with this new interpretation of the rules. Not on that occasion. Penalty Wigan. Still not seen Sam Essay, the former Trinity man. Or Tom Farber who came on loan. Ooh, the ball was held out there for an offload. Burn drives into the three-man tackle. O'Neill takes it to the left. I'm sure looking for the runners. We got the overlap there at Wigan. Sucked to the ball. A very deep at Wigan. Kick from Hampshire. Where did he come from? Where on earth did he come from? Try underneath the post for Wigan. 16 10, kick to come. We played just well. We're in the fifth minute of the second half.
Inch perfect kick from Ryan Hampshire. Jack Farrim on the scrum half to try to score a half back partner to Hampshire. Ryan Hampshire goals as you would have expected from underneath the post. Looking at 16-12, uh, so in Trinity's favour. Sam Essay is on for Liam Byrne. I like Sam Essay. I thought he gave his all every time he pulled on the red, white and blue as I'm sure many of you did. So Jowett to restart. Five Trinity defenders are there. One, two, three, four, five. Walters. The tackling really has been keen from the Trinity lads. SA's first touch. Runs at both right. Well, he won't remember him because he wasn't here, was he? Oh, Matthew Coates. Uh. And the kick. Oh, Lachlan Wormsley has to reach and does well in the end. Could have gone horribly wrong, could that? <laughs> Turning into the defenders. Oli Pratt. Short side for Romain Franco. No running chances tonight for Franco. They've all gone to McGilvery, haven't they? Caleb Whalen going towards the halfway line. He's going to get the ball out in the tackle. He has them to Walmsley. And then the dummy beats SA. Tries to jink past Rocket Ryan Hampshire. Can't do so. He's going to be a favourite here at Trinity's uh, Lachlan Walmsley. Long ball. Tommy Doyle, first receiver. To Speck is at the back of the post to our left one to a high tackle, not given. Tommy Doyle's got to go back a metre or so. Coza adapting half back. Last tackle, kick Jowett. That's not gone too deep, has it? 16-12, keep him here. No penalties. Jack Croft as well. Tackling's good again, keeping Wigan in their own half, but there's still tackles in this set of six. Harvey Hill uses his shoulder to push away Matthew Coates, but he comes back and assists you. UA, Coelev, Uela, and Matty Ashurst to push him back into his own half. Kick deep. Walmsley waits. Walmsley gathers. Blue shirt's waiting for him. He's going to go on the outside, is he? Yes, he is. Can he go it once more? Oh, that's got to be a penalty. No intent, of course, referee says play on. Croft has to reach. Oh, no, it's Griffin. Croft this time at acting halfback. McGilvery, a first receiver. Here he comes.
Dial down the short side with Croft. Slips the first defender. And into the Wigan half. Quick play the ball from Croft. Doyle with a long pass. Coaster offloads to Lawford. This is a testimony of Man Maddy Ashurst. Who's kicking? Is it Lawford? It is. Goes high again. Again, he's got, gone too deep. Romain Franco does well. He timed his tackle to perfection. Short side for Wigan. Saw an interesting spectator come into the ground as we were walking around. Jacob Miller, who of course played uh, standoff after Matty Ashurst for about eight seasons, according to Tash. Great standoff half. And as Tash says, he created a lot of his tries. Copybook tackle again from Kosa. SA onto the halfway line. Not quite. Last tackle. Where's the kickers? It's to the left with Hampshire. Now the news is this McGilvery's. It is. Brings it back certainly at pace. Lawford finds Remain Franco. Had moved in from his wing. Ducks under the Woodbury defender. Ashurst down the short side. Ollie Pradder acting half back. Wigan player in the way. Lawford at first receiver. Jinx one way, then the other. Tries to take on the Wigan defenders. He's only a slightly built, but wow, he doesn't half take these big forwards on. Pratt. Coatser. Sam S.A. defends. Along with Hill. Last tackle right on the halfway line. Again, we've gone high. And again, we're moving very, very quickly indeed. And we can start this set of six on their own 30. Pratt, Ashurst. I've nothing to say, Andy. Sixteen twelve, Wigan just inside their own half. Hampshire sends the pass to the left. Wigan are now inside the Trinity half. Hill. Again it's keen defence. Tommy Doyle's in there somewhere. Look at him. You can see him with the orange boots. Last tackle, where's the kicker? Long's as well positioned, he's read that one very well indeed. And he goes beyond the first defender, and he loses his footing. Franco puts his hand up again and takes the drive. And the next up is Oli Pratt, in from his centre, he pokes his nose through the gap. Three Wigan defenders hang on. Doyle had acting half back. McGilvery's in from his wing. Pushes away one, falls to the second two defenders. And this is Toby both right with the inside ball to Caleb Oela. Still going with his back to the opposition. Last tackle just inside the Wigan now. Lawford will kick. Despite the challenge from Brad O'Neill, Wigan again. Start this set of six, much from the position that they did the last one. No way through for the Wigan player. Ashurst was there. Patrick May goes back on for Tyler Dupree. For Wigan. And here comes Mago. Slip the booth right tackle. Tommy Doyle's gone low. Josh Griffin's gone high. 
O'Neill away from out in half back. Been given the number nine shirt for Wigan since Powell has moved on, of course, mid season. Lights have gone off again. Hampshire had acting half back. I think the referee says it's the last tackle. Running it with Walters. Keeping the ball alive. Wigan. Crossfield kick is it a Trinity player. Jowett goes down on the ball and Trinity are in possession, albeit 10 metres from their own goal line. Crofts come in. Croft takes the first drive with a little skip. No way through. I bet Ian Thornley were disappointed not to play against one of his former sides, Wigan. Late withdrawal from Trinity, of course. Looks as though Liam Hood and Josh Bowden are ready to come back on. Matthew Cosa, the Frenchman. Caleb Uela, back to the opposition. I thought he was looking to offload. Both rides off. Coaster's off, and Bowden and Hood are back on. Tommy Doyle will probably go to lose forward. Of course, Liam Hood can play stand off half as he did at Headingley, can he, on boxing? 16 12. Into the 17th minute, bit of stoppage time for the light failure, but not a lot. Wigan just inside the Trinity half. Kay Dellis takes the drive, he's returned from the dugout. Harvey Hill's been the one to be uh, substituted. Trinity, Wigan have used up the six tackles. The kick will come from Rocky Hampshire back into that far left corner. Come on, McGilvery. The ball's gone loose. Trinity have dropped on the ball. Trinity in possession, 10 metres from their own goal line. It's Max Jowett who killed the ball. Jay Pitts ready to come back on, and Caleb Uela has gone out. Franco down this left touchline side. Steps inside one. He's got pace, he's got support on his right shoulder, has he? Well run, Romain Franco. He's taken play with a lovely 30 metre break. And the lights go off. Unbelievable. Josh Bowden, fresh from arrest. 20 out, centre field. Hood has gone back into acting half back. Here comes Pitts. Ooh, he's got Tommy Doyle on his right shoulder. Tommy Doyle's gone to ground. I think he collided with Pitts. More friendly fire. Jai with the kick into the ingle area. Goal line drop out, Wigan. Tommy Doyle is receiving <coughs> treatment. Just a stinger on Tommy Doyle's shoulder. we sore for a few minutes. It'll be sore in the morning. Tommy, get some ice on. Don't need me to tell him that, of course. Goal line drop out, Wigan. Trinity should get another set of six. Walmsley, who's operated well at full back. Oh, his head went back in that, didn't it? Hood had acted half back. Pitch pointing to the right. He goes right with Tommy Doyle, that shoulder must be okay. Not the biggest loose forward in the game, is he? Jowett first receiver, Lawford, short ball, Matty Ashurst. Eight out for the second row forward. Pitts, Jowett spins away from one. Gap for Griffin, overhead ball for the hat-trick man, McGilvery, in at the right corner. 
hat trick for Jerry McGilvery on his uh, home debut for Trinity. 20 points to 12. As I say, open for sponsorship, the wingman. Griffin did well with another superb overhead pass. Scored in the 20th minute. We were calling him all those years. He did that for Huddersfield Giants. Well, <laughs> and now he's a big favourite. And he had surgery, didn't he, for a knee, a knee washout during the off season. It's the early weeks of uh, pre-season, but not a lot. Some delay, Max Jarrett attempting the conversion. And it's another less than a metre in from the right corner flag. He's kicked one, he's hit the post with the other. No, it just went left of the post, didn't it? Come on, Max. The North Terraces will be telling us where it's going. They're quiet, they're not cheering. They should have been because it's gone just, just across the crossbar. 22 points to 12, sponsored by Beat Autism. The conversion by Max Jowett. And Trinity lead by 10. Hampshire puts it deep. The referee is going to the uh, dugout on the far side of the field. My suggestion is going to be something like, if that happens again, there's only one decision he can make. We've played over an hour. It will be disappointing if he called the game off. It's a very special evening for everybody, particularly for Matty Ashurst and his family. And the Wigan Warriors supporters who have come a long way on a Friday night. As Andy and myself know, that M62 in either direction is not the best journey. The referees finished the game. The referees finished the game because the floodlights have failed on a number of occasions. Disappointment. 16-6 at the break. Jack Farrimon scored a try early in that second half to its Rocky Hampshire goal, 16 points to 12. But I suppose one of the highlights was Jerry McGilvery scoring a hat-trick in the right corner from a Griffin pass. And Max Jarrett goal right from the touchline side. And as if by chance, the floodlights go off again. So Matty Asher's testimonial match has ended in a huge disappointment for everybody involved. Hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to Maddie Ashurst and perhaps one of the other Trinity players. But at the moment it's finished prematurely here at the DIY Kitchen Stadium. It's Trinity 22, Wigan Warriors 12. <laughs>